Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. Today I'm very excited to check out Privacy from USAopoly. This is for 5 to 10 players. It'll take about 30 to 45 minutes to play, and it's for ages 18 plus. And in Privacy, this is an adult's only party game in which you are going to be asking inappropriate or awkward embarrassing questions to everyone at the table you're going to secretly put your answer into this cool little box right here and then you're going to try and guess how many people answered yes to that question if you are close or correct you'll get points if not then you'll still sit there and laugh about how all your friends are perverts, or all your friends are weird, or none of your friends are weird, or you're super weird, or anything of that combination. It is a very straightforward, simple adult party game, but is it good? Let's open it up, and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of privacy. So first and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule sheet. It's really one page. It is double-sided, but you're not going to use the back. Uh, full of pictures, illustrations, examples. Very well done. Very simple game. Big thumbs up on the rule book. Look, I can also teach you how to play right now. So in privacy, you're going to try to get your little wooden disc all the way up the track to 21 points. If you're the first person to do that, you're going to win the game. How are you going to get points? Well, on your turn, well, actually, everybody's doing it do it every turn you're going to choose one of these numbers on this little spinner that you have and this is how many people you think will be answering yes to a question which will be on one of these cards what am i talking about let's go over the components let's get into the gameplay we already talked about the player board right here it goes up to 21 you're gonna have a little privacy box you're gonna pass around or you can put in the middle where you're going to place your yes or no answers to the questions that will be on these cards you got your little spinner which we already talked about so let's just talk about the cards and how the cards work so how it's going to do is when you're ready to start the game everybody's got their spinner everybody's got a handful of these you are going to take turns reading one question from these cards so you look you draw a card and then you look at this symbol to see which question you're going to read now the fire means you can ask whichever one you want so let's see do you have any secret tattoos has it been more than six months since you've had sex have you ever had sex more than three times in one day would you ever consider being a stripper so i'll just say uh have you ever had sex more than three times in one day that would be the question now everyone is going to take turns uh, going around putting their answer into the box so for me personally that would be a yes maybe somebody else would say no we'd probably have you know two yeses i, I imagine realistically it'd probably be four yeses and one no's that would be my guess so now what we're going to do knowing that there are five people here we're going to try and guess how many people said yes so well, this guy will go three this guy will go one because he's a moron this guy will go four eight uh, yeah, this guy will go six because he's drunk, and this guy will go five. And then we're all going to reveal our answers at the same time. So we say one, six, four, three, five. Then we're going to reveal the answers. And we'd look down here, and we'd have four yeses and one no. So if anyone has the answer four, they're going to get two points. So black would get one, two points. Anyone who has three or two is going to get one point. So purple would also get one point this card would get discarded and then we put these back into the pile and we'd rinse wash and repeat so now we're looking at question two have you ever farted while working out at the gym uh but yeah what you're really wondering here is what are the questions so uh have you ever gotten drunk before noon do you yes do you get turned on by something calling you degrading names yes have you ever found someone else's used tampon in your trash can yes is it okay for a person to use a racial slur if it's their race yeah, yeah i'll go with it would you let a homeless person use your shower and stay in your bedroom for a week? I would need to know the context of the situation, but yes. Have you ever peed in a cup while on a road trip? Yeah. <laughs> Peeing in a cup while not on a road trip. Have you ever helped birth an animal? Ooh, yes, kittens. Do you have an underwear that's dirty or has holes in it right now? Yes, most of them. But anywho, those are the kind of questions you're going to get. Some of them are inappropriate. Some of them are just slightly embarrassing. But the first person to get to 21 will be the winner of a privacy. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Alright then, privacy from USAopoly. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side. Game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. Five to ten players are obviously, if you're not in the mood for a party game, this one will not be for you. Also, I liked it best at the higher player counts, but I still had fun with it at five. I played this once at five and once at the full count of ten players. I only got a chance to play it twice, and we enjoyed it both times. I mean, it was fun. I also like it best with people you know. I will say that. I played it with a 10-player game. There were like four people I didn't know. And it was really hard to get a feel for those people. That being said, it was fun 
talking with those people who I didn't know about those questions after we answered the questions, but I'll talk more about that in the pros, because that's one of my favorite parts of the game that's not actually part of the game. Continuing on with the con side, if you don't like adult-themed games, they're going to be talking about sex and pissing in cups and, you know, doing terrible things to people or breaking up with stuff or breaking people's hearts and, you know, just stuff like that. If you don't like talking about your personal life when it comes to games, this will not be for you, because it's not an adult party game in the sense of Cards Against Humanity where it's like, haha, you said pussy fart shit or something like that. This is an adult party game in the sense that you are going to be discussing at least if you're playing with me, your personal life and embarrassing things you do and awkward sex you've had and awkward sexual things that you keep deep down in your brain and stuff like that, which a lot of people don't like to talk about. A lot of people like to keep that stuff private. But if you know me, I'm kind of an open book on this channel. So I really enjoyed the game. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk more. We're still talking about the cons. Any other cons? Uh, the brown and the black, the little circle dobs, they look exactly alike. It's not a huge deal. But it is super annoying because they look very similar, especially in bad lighting. Uh, but, uh, cards. Cards are a little bit thin. Like, they're pretty thin cards. But, I mean, you're not going to be using the cards that much. You look at it, you read the question, you put it down. So it's not like you're going to be shuffling them frequently or deck building or something like that. So I can, I, can, I can let the game get away with that. Moving on to the pros. I really enjoyed Privacy. I, myself, thought it was a great game. Now, not as much as other people and really this is going to be a your mileage may vary kind of game i played it with some very close friends of mine and we enjoyed the hell out of it because we all know each other really well and this game brings out these discussions about events in our past and events in our past that we didn't even know about each other we're like oh my god really you did that and that's fun and this is a great game to get to know people better as long as you can deal with the content of the game. Now, the best part of this game, in my personal opinion, is not trying to guess the numbers or writing down yours. It's talking about the question after the question has been answered and trying to predict who did what, or even better, just admitting, oh, yep, I was one of those 30, who else did it, who else did it, and then just starting off the game at that tone. Like, starting the game off and pretty much just saying, we're going to talk about everything. When you leave here, we are all going to grow a little bit closer because all of us have terrible, deep, dark secrets about each other. And keep keep those people close to you. And don't, don't piss off those people. But that's not for everybody. And I realize 100% that is not for everybody. Some people do not want to talk about some of this. And I actually had that in the 10-player game. Somebody was like, uh, nope. No, I'm not talking about any of this. I will play the game, but I'm not going to talk about any of this stuff afterwards. And he didn't. He didn't talk about any of this stuff. And it's, you know, some people are different. For me personally, though, I had a lot of fun with privacy. I think it's a great game. That being said, the game itself is not a great game. Like, gameplay, mechanisms, all that sorts of stuff I'm supposed to talk about. It's okay. It's average. But what this game creates is great, in my opinion, and raises this game up over a lot of other adult party games to the point that I'm probably going to keep this game. That's how much I like it. Actually, you know what? I'd probably give it to my buddy Eric because that's primarily where I play adult party games at. So I'm going to give this one to him and tell him not to get rid of it uh, because it's a lot of fun and it's a great way to get to know people better. So that is Privacy, the shit you want to know but never asked adult party game from USAopoly. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. Let's do this. Let's get to know each other. We're going to do two questions. Have you ever pleasured yourself with a fruit or vegetable? I've done a lot of things with a lot of stuff, but no, I have never pleasured myself with a fruit or vegetable. If you were homeless, would you offer blowjobs for money? Wow. If I was homeless, would I offer blowjobs for money? I'm going to let the fact that I am not saying a word be the answer that you know that I, I, I yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to answer that, but the fact that I'm not answering that is incredibly telling. I'm homeless. I mean, you don't, you don't really have options. It's not like I can go work overtime or something like that can't go donate plasma covered dirty homeless guy so you know it's wow good on you privacy you made me blush that's why i like this game let me know in the comments below and as always thanks for your time youtube